Okay, so you are going to solve the linear equation. They are even telling you what type of equation that is now. Solve the linear equation um, x plus 5 over 2 equal to 1 over 4. Everybody, try it. Two minutes. You got two minutes. So I'm going to ask you again at 129. This is 127. 30 more seconds. Okay, so what's the solution, ladies and gentlemen? Who has the solution? Is it negative 9 over 4? Say it confidently. Is that what you have as your solution, or are you asking me if it is? No, oh, that's what I have. Okay, good. So now let's write it down and see if somebody else um, has a different solution. So solution number one suggested is negative 9 over 4. Who got something else? Or the same thing. If you got the same thing or something else, speak up. I got negative nine four over four two. Okay. Um, another solution suggested is negative nine over over two. Okay. No, um, I said I got negative nine over four as well. Oh, no, oh, nine over four as well. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Gabriel, I believe that's your voice. Please explain your solution. Explain to us. I'm gonna write exactly what you say. I um. Uh, so you subtract. Five over two on both sides. Okay, so hold on. So let me write it down. It says x plus five over two minus five over two equal to one over four minus five over two. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay, so uh, tell me what happens. Next step. So then you cancel out the um, both fives um, over two. On the left side. Yeah. Okay, so that gives us uh, x. Yeah, continue. Yeah, x equals 1 over 4 minus 5 over 2. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? How do we manipulate the fraction? So now you have to find the least common denominator. And what would that be? So it would be 1 over 4. 1 over 4. Minus 10 over 4. Minus 10 over 4. How did you get that? How did you get the 10 over 4? Please explain. Because I multiply 2 to 5 on over 2. Okay, so you multiply 2 on the numerator of this and this and the denominator so that you will have uh, the same denominator. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, thank you. So next step. So then you just subtract it, and when you subtract it, it equals x equals 9 over 4. Okay, so the numerator Negative. you subtract 1 minus 10. And then you just return the denominator, which is four. Yeah. And that's negative nine over four. Thank you. The process is good. Does anybody disagree with that? Ashley, is that what you used or did you use another method? No, it's the same method. Okay. So for avoidance of doubt, let me let me give you another method. Okay. Let me guys, let me give you another method just in case. Did anybody have question on this first before I move on? All right, so let me give you another method. So the question was x plus 5 over 2 equal to 1 over 4. Now, you can eliminate the fraction by converting all the numbers to whole numbers. So how do you do that? Now, if you take a look at this, if you multiply throughout by 2, Okay, let's, instead, let's multiply throughout by 4 because that's going to eliminate this right side and that's going to eliminate the uh, 2 here as well. So multiply every term by 4. Multiply all term by 4. So that gives us 4 multiplied by x plus 5 multiplied by... Um, I'm sorry, let me start with 4. Let me rewrite it. So that is going to give us... 4 multiplied by x plus 4 multiplied by 5 equal to 4 multiplied by 1 over 4. So this crosses out. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So on the right side, you have 1. On the left side, you have 4 minus 4 multiplied by 5 is 20. Then, then uh, this one is 4x. Okay? Then what do you do next? So you transfer 20 to the left side, no, to the right side, or you subtract 20 from both sides. So you just do 20 minus 20 equal to 1 minus 20 
plus of course four x. This goes out, and on the right side you are left with what? No, no, no. It looks like I made mistake. It looks like I made a mistake. Okay, I did. Here's the mistake. The mistake is um, let me you uh, cross this out and do it all over. Here's the mistake. The mistake should be this is over two. All right. This should have been. 4x plus 4 times 5 over 2 equal to 4 times 1 over 4. So this crosses out. So you you have 10 here. You have 10 here. And that is and you have 1 here. And you have 4x here. All right. So then uh, transfer 10 to the right side. So that is going to give you 1 minus 10 equal to 4x. Then divide both sides by four. That's going to give you four x over four equal to uh, one minus uh, ten is negative nine. Then divided by four is so four cancels out four, and you are left with x equal to negative nine over four, which gives us the same solution. All right. So now this. This second example illustrates how to use um, manipulate fraction. This is something you must remember. You must remember it because uh, this is, um, you did this thing in is it either fifth grade or sixth grade or seventh grade, whatever you did it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a task right now and uh, what time do you want to finish it? 10 p.m. Okay, 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 I'll give you 10 p.m. But I don't want lateness. I don't want lateness. What did I say? I don't want lateness. All right. So mm -hmm. I'll give you 10. I don't mind giving you 10, but just make sure that uh, you give me back the solution by 10 o'clock. So I'm just going to give you four problems, four, and it's going to be very simple. So the task number one um, solve for the missing variable. Solve for the missing variable okay so here's here are the questions very easy one negative three equal to 12 plus c two uh z as in ze zebra minus two over three equal to five over three number three um three over eight equal to w like world minus one over four and then the fourth one the fourth one is five over four plus x equal to one over six that's it make sure you have typed in your name plus x and put five uh yes that's uh plus x yeah thank you four x plus x equal to no five over four plus x equal to one over six Five over four plus x equals one over six. 